careful. Man, this is brilliant. Whoa. Look at this. It's amazing. This is intense. Would you all mind signing in at the desk, please? Uh, this isn't everything. I'm sure the rest is almost here. I I'll make sure it gets to your rooms. Kate's makeup case is slowing it down. Erin, cigarettes. Blue backpack. Settle in, and I'll meet you all at dinner. At eight. Mr. Dumas, I cannot say thank you enough times. This is truly fantastic. I told you all this was a good plan, didn't I? <laughs> I told you. from you. Sorry. You're jumpy. Oh my god. I think I peed a little. How did you not hear me coming? I was... I don't think we're the only ones here. Kate saw a little girl looking out a window at us when we were outside. That's who I saw. A little girl. Mr. Demet probably has family, a staff, maybe friends. Who knows? That said, this place does give me the willies. It's, um, it's unique. Are you singing? Oh, yeah, that's my being scared song. This is my don't be scared song. Sing it <laughs> and I won't be scared long. <laughs> Doesn't really work. I bet. 181. Uh, I think I'm around the corner. 183? This is me. OK. OK. Good luck out there. Don't get lost. Scream if you need me for anything. Thanks. I got you. Nothing to be scared of. Actually, hey. Yeah? Why don't you hang a second while I unpack, then I can help you find your room? Something about this place makes me want to use the buddy system. Yes, thanks. I'd end up lost, probably. It's just a haul, dude. And here we are. Well, it's, um, cozy? Hmm. It's one step above one of those Japanese capsule hotels. Oh, come on. Could be way worse. Like our room in Topeka. No, nope, do not. I've blocked that from memory and don't want it coming back. Because of the roaches? Because if you snore. Uh, where's the bathroom? Wait, what? Old school. Ah, uh, gross school. What do I have to pee in the middle of the night? Am I gonna walk in on Charlie sitting on the pot? Guess that means there's no mini bar either. Huh? Shows what you know. What is that? Wine, genius. Uh, I feel like if we start drinking, Charlie will find out. And lecture me and make me feel like an asshole again. Yeah, he does that. But we're not on the clock. 
done to a rig and a shoe. Which is hard to do drunk. <laughs> I'm not suggesting we get full on hammered before we work. Why are you doing that? I'm thirsty. Also, you're cute when you're worked up. I don't... cute? You think I'm cute? Hmm? Oh. Gotta stick on my own if you want to share a lip cooties. Thanks, but I can find mine. Where'd it go? Uh... It's uh, all the way against the wall. See it? <coughs> you okay? <coughs> Shit. You trying to scare me now? <coughs> no. Revenge? Because good job. Since when did you have asthma? Since I was born. My meds are good. It's normally not a thing. I just need to be more careful of things like dust and pollen and getting the shit scared out of me. I'm an asshole. You didn't know. It's fine. Promise. You sure? Sure. I'm sure. So, uh, yeah. Cozy. You gonna try that? And now you're poisoned. It's not that bad. You're not lying? It's piquant. Decent vintage. Sure. I'm getting oaky undertones, a hint of citrus. And I want to say a strong, healthy amount of moldy sweat box. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I hate you. You are such a liar. <laughs> oh, sorry. The wine is trash. Totally lied about that. Really? Uh-huh. Sorry what I said earlier. I didn't mean to make you feel weird. I, uh, yeah, it's just, we work together and Charlie is always on me about being more professional and- I get it. No, I mean, I, I'm not saying I don't appreciate it. Erin. Or that I don't think you're cute too. It's just, um. What are you doing? I, oh my god, I, uh, I... <laughs> oh, you bitch! I'm just fucking with you. I wanted to kiss you for months. I just was scared to make a real move. Oh! oh sorry, sorry. Who is that? <sighs> Enjoying yourself out here like some sort of pervert? Sorry, did I uh, interrupt something here? No, we're just talking shop. We're worried about the power grid handling all of our gear. Yeah, yes. If this place is running on a generator, we need to know what it's putting out. I don't care what you guys are doing. Then why are you lurking? I can't find my room, and I need a fucking cigarette. <laughs> These funny shapes are numbers. They go up and down in order. Thank you. I've just been down there. Look, give me ten, then we should get a rough plan for getting our first shot. 
We have all evening. Can't we plan after dinner? I'd like to chill for a minute after the trek getting here. I want to be shooting after dinner. You've got 10 minutes. Okay, we'll be down in a few then. Oh, Erin, I checked my blue bag. No cigarettes. That's where I put them. Come and show me. Maybe one of us is colorblind and doesn't know what a blue bag is. <sighs> to be continued, then? Yes, definitely. Good luck finding your rooms. Well? I'm looking. Oh, Kate wanted you to have this. Breaking down walls, navigating the maze of anxiety. Are you fucking kidding me? I think she thought it might help with your stress, or... Absolutely not. I'm not stressed, okay? Do I look fucking stressed? Uh... That was rhetorical. Well, your cards came out nice enough. Oh, yeah. Embossing. Makes a huge difference. You old guys love business cards. <laughs> old school. You old school guys. I also put it on heavy stock and did the logo in foil. Damn. I should have had one ready for Mr. Dumet. Did you find them? I... no. I swear I put them in here. I don't understand. <gasps> Jesus. Check the other bag. Didn't you already? Just look. It's only clothes and, uh, uh, this. Notice of eviction. The studio? I paid the studio rent out the wrong account and the check bounced. It's nothing. I just have to use another. It's fine. So you're saying not to worry? Worry about finding my bloody cigarettes. They're gone, Charlie. Gone? Just like that? Are you saying somebody took them? I... I don't... Actually, I can see Kate doing that. Or Jamie. I'm sorry. A mental note isn't good enough. Details matter. Yes. Got it. I will try to do better. This place is massive. Surely there is a pack of cigarettes in here somewhere. Even if they're ancient. You need them that bad? There was a bar off the lobby. There must be cigarettes in the bar, right? I mean, technically, it's not legal to smoke in bars, so... Come on, we're checking. If you find them first, all will be forgiven.
So, I know you said it wasn't a thing, but that bank note is... You're fixating, which normally I applaud, but not about this. I mean, you'd tell us if we were in danger of losing our jobs, right? It's television. Everyone is always in danger of losing their jobs. Sure, but... It's fine. Erin, please. I've squared it all with the network. We're still working on this final episode, and they're paying your salary, not me. Well, but... You have to let this go. We're fine, Erin, OK? You've got to be worth something.
Hey, Charlie. I was hoping next season maybe I could do more with the sound design, more creative stuff. Erin, what you already do for this company is very valuable to us. Carrying your bags and picking up your laundry? Absolutely. To get ahead in this industry, you have to pay your dues. Show you're ready to muck in. I... I think you should get an assistant. An assistant? Oh, it was just a stupid idea, Charlie. I'm an just... An assistant? A personal assistant? Sort of. And then I could help out with the editing. Pardon me? The editing? The audio mix. Look, I just think you've got so much to give, so much experience. And it's an opportunity to pass that knowledge on. Right. Yes, I suppose it is. And an assistant wouldn't lose my cigarettes, would they? Exactly. So, do you still want to direct movies, Charlie? I am directing. No, but I mean real movies. With a big budget and big stars. Erin, there's something important that you have to understand. In the work that we do, the very important work, the truth is the star. Oh, right. Yeah, sorry, Charlie. So you don't want to direct movies. Can we move on from this? I suppose I should be thankful it's just my cigarettes that I'm missing and not our gear.
Hey, maybe Mr. Dumet is in the back office. You could just ask him about cigarettes. Jackpot. Erin, I found the key. Why don't I go check for a gift shop or something? I've already had one asthma attack today, and this dust farm is exactly what I don't need. A gift shop might have cigarettes. Exactly. Atta girl. Hello? Mr. Dumet? Hello? Good morning to you all. I'm Chester Bell, Assistant Director at the Federal Bureau of Investigation. At approximately 0530 local time, a team led by Special Agent Hector Monday and supported by law enforcement officers conducted a raid of a motel room just outside Birmingham, Alabama to apprehend Manny Sherman, the man known as the Beast of Arkansas. Using state-of-the-art psychological profiling techniques, Special Agent Monday and members of his task force not only identified their suspect, but predicted his movement with unerring accuracy. I'm delighted to say we have our man.
Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh. Of course it was exact change. Damn it. Wow. An animatronic. Ha! That's what amazing. What will it be, Mr. Demet, sir? <laughs> I'll have a packet of cigarettes, please. A packet of cigarettes, please. Hello? Hello? A packet of smokes. I figured it was too good to be true. Never mind. Thank you, Robo Barman. Certainly, sir. Whatever you wish. No fucking way. I don't suppose you've got any spare change back there, have you? Thought not. Next round's on me. Promise. Yes! Come to daddy. Oi! Oi! Oh, no, 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 please, come on, no! What? No! No, please! I'm having a really shit day, and you've just made it worse. Lord. Ha! What? No, come on, you piece of shit. Don't do this to me. <clears throat> Antique rubbish. Give them to me. Give me my cigarettes. Right, you. That's it. I'm gonna go and get my key grip, and they are gonna kick the shit out of you. Hey, Charlie. Yeah, I'm still in the bar. I think it's dinner time. We should get everyone else. Okay, I'm coming. And I'm coming back for you with a fucking pry bar. Are you alone in there? Who's that behind the bar? What? I had a thought on an intro segment. You want to shoot now? Yeah. If we get it shot and in the bank, maybe Charlie will stop rewriting everything I come up with. Yeah. <laughs> okay, sure. What? Nothing. Just give me a sec, and I'll be good to go. I'm supposed to buy nothing is eating away at you? Yes. How many times have you cleaned that lens? I'm just prepping my gear. Really? Yeah. Always focusing on the detail, Mark. What about taking a huge risk and just do something? 
I watched you fuss for a whole week before you turned down that job offer, all because you had to take one extra train to get there. The job wasn't the right move. The train thing confirmed it. Flimsy. I don't buy it. You don't have to buy it. Come on, let's just shoot this. Let's use natural light so we can do it alone. Didn't the lobby have skylight? I don't remember. I just want to look decent. We can get Jamie to set up some lights. No. I don't want to wait around. I want to shoot something before dinner, otherwise Charlie is going to be in my face all evening. And to be honest, I'm at capacity with Jamie. I get it. Ark, why are you letting them all think I broke up with you? I feel like if Jamie knew the truth, she might back off. I mean, they all just assumed. I can't decide if that's sweet or selfish, or both. Before we... Look, can I say something? We agree that we're sticking to just the job. Right. Which is why you can't just roll up and drive by psychoanalyze me. I... Okay. You're right. That wasn't fair. I'm sorry. We don't need to rehash stuff. Let's just work. No, you're right. I, um... Uh... You're right. We agreed. I'm sorry. Look, let's go find some light and get started. Thanks for doing this. You're only asking me because your arms are too short for a good selfie angle. My arms are not short. <laughs> Where to? Uh, the balcony would make for a cool angle. Let's find a way up there. How's the new place? It'll do for now. Do you like it? It's just a place to keep my shit in crash. Short-term lease, so I can take my time to find something I really like. That's... Mm, smart plan. You said I needed to be out, so I got out. I was complimenting you. Yeah, just saying. I was worried you'd be sleeping on the couch in the studio while you obsessed over finding the perfect place with the right wall color near the proper train station or bus stop or... Maybe we should just add this topic to our discussion no fly zone list. Yeah, you're probably right. Am I crazy or did we not come from this direction? So since we can't do it tomorrow, is next weekend okay to come and get my stuff? Whoa, there, bucko. I was just checking for light. Remember our talk about boundaries? I need my room to be my private, safe place. Sometimes I'm glad we went to therapy. Other times, it makes for some weird-ass rules.
There's something back here. So if Dumet catches us in here, are we breaking one of his rules? He did say not to go wandering. And we did practically bust the door down and get in here. We? So maybe we should take care. Probably. Yeah, I feel like Dumet is the kind of dude who loses his shit if you break his rules. Oh, what was your first clue when he took away our phones like we were kind of teenagers? Huh. Guess we're not totally alone. Fuck out of me. This takes me back. I used to carve the hell out of my desk in middle school. Rebel.
look at this wallpaper. This is old as hell. Everything here is old as hell. I was expecting an old exterior, but remodeled inside. Looks like Dumet is trying to preserve things. Can't be easy all the way out here. I like antiques as much as the next person, but at some point you have to give up the ghost. There. See that key? Just need to find a way through. Rod is going to set in. Right. That's it. What? But since we got here, I've been smelling something faint, distant. Can't place it. It's decay. Old house. Island beaches with dead fish, animals in the wood. Could be anything. Whatever it is, it's dead as hell. Sherman, born January 1, 1956. Come on. You know all this. What do you want? What's this? Huh. You've been doing your research, haven't you, Special Agent Monday? What are my favorite television programs? Describe my first pet? What were your friends like as a child? What is this? I can't make up my... Taking a survey, you try to learn something. Would it kill you to be direct? You wanted to know what inspired me? As if I wasn't an original? Well, maybe there was one man I found myself a little fascinated by. Henry Howard Holmes. Why? Because he was numero uno. America's first. The guy invented the trade. He set the benchmark, you know? Learn your history, Monday. Read a book. You think because I stuck a blade in some people and get off on it, I'm not smart? I, uh, allegedly killed 13 people before you got smart enough to find me. There's gotta be a way through. your head down.
This should work. Mark, you okay in there? I'll be right back. <laughs> 